Hi, welcome to the NFPA Link YouTube channel. This page is dedicated to answering key questions you have related to electrical and life safety. With easy to use digital access to NFPA codes and standards, NFPA Link is your window to productivity. Today, we'd like to address whether equipment must be secured in the crew compartment of a fire apparatus. If you're like me, you know that the emergency responder and responder safety standards at NFPAA are going, undergoing a consolidation. I knew that NFPA 1901 dealt with automotive fire apparatus, however, I'm not sure what the new standard is. Luckily, NFPA Link has the ability to search all of our standards by clicking on View All Publications. Since we're looking for the standard dealing with automotive fire apparatus, we type in automotive, click enter, and NFPA 1900 comes up. We see that NFPA 1901 is still in the list from 2016, however the new standard from 2024 is now consolidated to deal with aircraft rescue and firefighting vehicles, automotive fire apparatus, wildland fire apparatus, and automotive ambulances. Clicking on this standard, the table of contents comes up, and we see that it's a consolidated group of many standards. We could search through the table of contents to look for the requirements of equipment mounting in cabs. However, NFPA Link contains a search feature that should speed this up for us. If we click on search and enter cab, we see that several sections come up that have cab in the title. As we scroll through this list, we see cab equipment mounting. Clicking on that section takes us to 11113. Looks like it's part of more of a section, so let's scroll up. Look at that, we're at equipment mounting. In 11112, we see that anything that's in the crew area must be either enclosed and latched in a compartment or secured with brackets. There are force requirements for those brackets. They must sustain a 9G force applied in the longitudinal axis of the vehicle or a 3G force applied in any other direction. Securing equipment in the cab ensures that it does not become a hazard in an apparatus crash, as loose items have the potential for injuries, which may become fatal. We hope that provided some insight into the requirements for the mounting of equipment in the cab of fire apparatus. For more information about how NFPA Link gives you the knowledge you need to get the job done right, visit nfpa.org forward slash link.